So, this is a blood pressure monitoring system. Uh, okay. So, this is a digital blood pressure monitoring system and it's quite portable one even. So, today in this video, in this session actually, we gonna tear it down and understand how these medical devices work and we will understand what are the specifications of the major components that are used to make this blood pressure monitoring system. So, we will produce a series of tear down videos in uh, the YouTube channel GSK Robotics. So, please make sure that you like, comment and subscribe if you find it very amusing. So, let us focus on tearing it down. Oh. So, let us see from where it can be removed. Oh, this is there. First, we should always remove the battery. Okay. This is the very critical component. Whenever you are trying to open, repair or do trying to fix anything now we will find where this screw things are there uh, okay this do not have that okay, this 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 should have this uh, grooves for making the screw stick so we will so What is there in this guy? Hmm? What is there in this guy? So in this, we will open this up. Now we are going to discuss how uh, the pump, the valve, okay, the solenoid valve and the pressure sensor are locked in together so as to run this device for accurate blood pressure measurement. Okay. Before that, <coughs> we I'll tell you the basic block diagram of this instrument. So first thing and first foremost thing that we have is uh, this guy this guy will be our uh, microcontroller okay it is denoted by mu c then <coughs> one more thing that is accommodated with this guy is our pressure sensor uh, let me erase this this is <laughs> very bad okay let us denote pressure sensor by P ok so this communicates with this guy uh, of course there is a Of course, there is a uh, instrumentation amplifier in between. Okay. We will denote amplifier by A. So, this whatever the uh, you might have seen <coughs> in the uh, sensors data sheet, okay, uh, that. Uh, or I think it will come in the next part of the video ok so in that whatever the span voltage that we are getting is amplified using the instrumentation amplifier and then transferred to 
அவர் மைக்ரோகண்டோலர் and this microcontroller okay this microcontroller only first inflates the cuff using pump okay we denoted by m okay and then this microcontroller only helps in deflating the pump using the valve let's denoted by v now just imagine ki we have a pump okay somewhat like this pushing air through this <coughs> and then this is the this part is this part is the cuff so this guy the work of this guy is to inflate this <coughs> now what happens when this is turned on it will it will inflate this but to turn it off okay to turn it off a solenoid valve or to deflate it when motor is turned off to deflate it a solenoid valve is made uh, is attached in such a way that <coughs> this tunnel okay this tunnel opens up when this valve is activated okay now this pipe is connected to our pressure sensor so when this part is turned off okay then this air gets deflated here but simultaneously we get the pressure reading from here <coughs> okay so the air goes from this okay the air goes from this like this inflates the cuff but when the motor is off but when the motor is off this air is deflated using this valve okay and we get pressure reading so this is how this is a rough architectural diagram of this guy so you can definitely get it now we will proceed to the next part of the video now after discussing about the pump the valve and how they are interfaced with our main blood pressure cuff we gonna dive into this circuit which is the motherboard and it is only responsible for interfacing this pressure sensor this pressure sensor typically and this lcd and everything together to calculate the blood pressure using oscillometric method <laughs> okay so now in this pcb basically this this guy this guy is a main microcontroller base is it means it's the heart of the whole system and this without this nothing can happen okay 
सो दिस गाय इज अ प्रेशर सेंसर के विच इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कन्वर्टिंग द प्रेशर इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल्स एंड मोस्टली दीज आर स्ट्रेन गेजेस के दीज सेंसर्स आर मोस्टली डेवलप्ड अलाउन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेजेस एंड दिस गाय ओवर हेयर इज ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर ओके बेसिकली आई शुड से अरेंजमेंट ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर कन्वर्टेड इन टू अंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर सो वी विल डाइव इन टू द डेटा शीट ऑफ दिस सेंसर ऑल्सो एंड दिस गाय दिस गाय ओवर हेयर वर्कस एज एल सी डी ड्राइवर एंड दिस इज द कनेक्शन फॉर वॉल्व एंड मोटर सो नाउ वी विल डी सोल्डर दिस सेंसर प्रेशर सेंसर एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर इट स्पेसिफिकेशन आई हैव मेड एन अरेंजमेंट टू डी सोल्डर दिस गाय एंड वी विल सी वॉट इज द स्पेसिफिकेशन रिटर्न ओवर इट और वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड विच कंपनी प्रोड्यूस दिस एंड वॉट इज इट्स पार्ट नंबर सो फर्स्ट थिंग टू डी सोल्डर मतलब वॉट एवर वी हैव टू डू इज वी नीड टू फाइंड सम डी सोल्डरिंग फ्लक्स so this guy is desoldering flux we will uh, use our tweezer and we will pour some of its contents over here uh, okay this this guy now we will take our uh, soldering gun and slowly slowly we will try to remove it out we are trying to remove this guy out okay so it's it will take thoda extra time our temperature is a bit more okay so that's why things are not working properly so what we gonna do is we gonna try some other method and we will try to remove this so we have successfully removed this okay as you can see we have successfully removed this and you might be able to read some of the part numbers that is written over there now we will go to google and find out the data sheet for this guy and we will see the specifications of the sensor ki what is this how it is working i think it is not properly getting focused so let's see whether you are able to see i'm very sorry for this but uh, i'll definitely give the number of the sensor now i think you might uh, be able to see the specific uh, number of part number of the sensor so this is the sensor that is packed in that box the serial number of this sensor is 2xmpp02 which is a mems type of strain gauge okay pressure gauge basically made by omron okay omron is a very renowned company okay and uh, it's a capacitive type pressure sensor basically okay so this is the maximum ratings of the this pressure sensor it means 37 kilopascal means you can just assume that it will uh the maximum rating of this uh, pressure sensor is around 277.53 around roughly 280 mm of hg okay 
now uh, other important aspects that we need to understand is this offset voltage offset voltage means what voltage it gives when it is ideal uh, sorry idle yeah. so it gives 2.5 voltage across these pins okay and the span voltage okay it means when this 37 kilopascal pressure is applied it means 280 mm hg roughly then it will produce a 34 millivolt of voltage approximately the difference that will uh, we gonna be getting into the output terminus of this so now uh, you can see that power consumption is very low 0.2 millivolt it's, it's very less yeah. this is the v out uh, this uh, uh, this is the basic terminal arrangement means pin out of the sensor and this is the connection diagram where you can see that it is having a uh, like strain gauge type of arrangement yeah. wheatstone bridge kind of arrangement and good very amusing thing here is that it is driven using a constant current source okay and we uh, further we can see what is the value of this current source okay. so uh, here basically we can see that measurement conditions uh, these parameters are very important measurement condition is 23 degree celsius or you can go up to 25 which is considered normal room temperature and the constant current drive of this sensor is 100 micro ampere so a constant current circuit is made using an operation amplifier okay we can tune these resistor values properly tune these resistor values to get the desired current okay and then this circuit over here is an instrumentation amplifier okay the gain of this instrumentation amplifier is controlled using this resistor basically okay this instrumentation amplifier is made using obtention amplifier as well this is the output characteristics curve that we might use to calibrate the sensor or get a relational output voltage when a particular pressure is applied so uh, these are the things that we needed to discuss about the sensor and uh, then uh, we will proceed to the part in which we will discuss about how algorithmically it is converting this electrical signals into pressure okay, and how it is calculating uh, the uh, systolic and diastolic and mean arterial pressure okay, basically how it is calculating blood pressure. So, yeah, let's continue. Today, I'm diving into the science behind how modern blood pressure sensors work, specifically through the oscillometric method. If you've ever wondered how that little cuff on your arm can tell so much about your health, you're in the right place. First things first, let's break down the components involved, a pump, a valve, and a pressure sensor. These three work together to give you accurate readings of your blood pressure. So. How does the oscillometric method actually work? Imagine you have a cuff wrapped around your arm. The process starts when the pump inflates the cuff, squeezing your arm tightly. This inflation temporarily stops the blood flow in the brachial artery. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The pressure sensor comes into play. As the cuff slowly deflates through the valve, the sensor detects tiny fluctuations in pressure. These fluctuations are caused by the blood starting to flow again as the artery opens and closes. Picture this like a graph. On the x-axis you have time, and on the y-axis you have pressure. Initially the graph shows a high stable line as the cuff is fully inflated. As the cuff deflates, you'll see oscillations or waves forming on the graph. These waves are the key to measuring your blood pressure. The highest amplitude of these oscillations corresponds to the mean arterial pressure, or MAP. It's the average pressure in your arteries during one cardiac cycle. From here, the device calculates the systolic and diastolic pressures. The systolic pressure is the point at which the oscillations start. 
representing the pressure when your heart beats. The diastolic pressure is when the oscillations end, representing the pressure when your heart is at rest. To sum it up, the pump inflates the cuff. The pressure sensor detects oscillations as the cuff deflates, and the algorithm calculates the blood pressure from these oscillations. It's a brilliant interplay of mechanics and math. This method is preferred because it's non-invasive and relatively simple to use. Plus, it provides consistent and reliable readings, making it ideal for both clinical settings and home use. So next time you or a patient uses a blood pressure monitor, you'll know exactly what's happening behind the scenes. Understanding these concepts not only helps you in your exams, but also makes you a more informed practitioner. All right, that's a wrap for today. Stay curious, keep learning, and remember, knowledge is the best medicine. Catch you in the next one. Am I the only one that didn't know tech could be this cool? Join the GSK Robotics community? Hit subscribe and let us know in the comments what tech you want us to tear down and explain next. Can't wait to dive in with you. Take care.